All right, so we got the 130 millimeter downhill truck. We got a 180 version of this as well. Um, we can custom make this axle pretty much any width you want, but this is the 130. So we got a set of 75 millimeter. I think they're 75s. Yeah, 75 uh, millimeter wheels on here. We're going to go ahead and the project is is we're going to take a 35 degree uh, angle bar angle and we're going to show you how to roll that over into a uh, should be about a 10 degree on this one so uh, first thing we want to do is take and loosen up our radius rods and remove the uh, radius rod bolts get all the hardware and everything out of the way okay so we're gonna go from 35 uh, degrees which is gonna have the radius rod on the top we're gonna roll this over put the rods on the bottom and then reattach them and for the rear what this does is it uh, the less steer you have in the rear the uh, more stable your truck becomes. 30 degrees would be a pretty carvy rear truck with the with the three link and the uh, you still have steer with a, a 10 or 15 degree in the rear. It's just better for the high speeds and the downhill stuff. So after you get these all secured up, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to check and see if your, your radius rod here, the bolt needs to be at a 90 to the rod. We're real close. Let me turn this so you can see it. It's pretty darn close to a 90. So that would be like a square corner between the rod bolt and the rod. So after you get this set, you want to throw your wheels back on and you want to get yourself a T-square like this one here and you want to check and see if your wheels you want to see if your track is straight down the middle of your skateboard and you do that with a T-square off your wheels and then you, you see if the T-square is running straight down the middle. It should go right down the center of your front truck. Now if you need to adjust your track, to adjust your track, you've got right hand threads on the axle and left hand on the base plate. They, they crack loose the same direction. So you have a right hand thread and a left hand thread and to change the axle angle, you just simply move this out. You see how it's driving the axle forward? So you'll want to come back with your T-square and set that so it's true and it's straight. Ours was pretty good to go. And then after you get everything straightened up, I rotate the himes in the direction that I'm tightening, that I'm going to tighten the, uh, the jam nuts, and I go ahead and just snug those down. And then uh, wheels back on. Recheck it with your T-square. Make sure that axle's straight down the middle and you're good to go.